Thank you. Uh, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, Mr Speaker, can I first of all acknowledge um, Sue Maroney, who led the paid parental leave bill, and say that it's really disappointing that as we celebrate uh, what looks like a unanimous support for this bill, we're not doing the same with her bill. Um, when when um, my colleague Adrian Rudafi, um, not rural while, whatever <laughs> what? Mr Mitchell called him, I'm <laughs> certainly the wrong surname, um, when, my, when my colleague stu stood to take the first call in this debate, one of the national front benches uh, interjected and now onto a substantial topic. Now, actually, it is important, this topic, but I have to say that despite accountability and transparency being important, it's not as important as the opportunity to give families of newborn babies or adopted babies extra financial support in the first few weeks of their life. That would have been a great bill to pass, and I'm, I'm outraged that for the first time ever in New Zealand we had the financial veto exercised. But this bill sounds like we're going to get support. The, the member who's chirping obviously had a, a nice uh, break earlier this evening. He's come back to the House well rested, full of energy. Uh, he, when he saw this bill, he said it was a silly bill. He said, what a silly bill, he wasn't going to support it. And then his mates in the National Party said, well, we are. And he went, oops. I can't be the only one in the whole of Parliament voting to protect my own ability to keep stuff secret. That wouldn't have been a good look. Even for that member, it wouldn't have been a good look. Uh, so he is now supporting what he described as a silly bill. I, I think um, my colleague is correct. It makes him look a lot sillier than any legislation that has come in. Um, Mr Speaker, I think Mr Mitchell made a valid point that not one single member of the national opposition through the entire nine years of a Labour-led government had the common sense to put up a bill like this. Lazy opposition they were, just like they're lazy in government now. They should have spotted the opportunity and put in a member's bill themselves, but they didn't. Uh, so it was up to a Labour member in opposition to do that, and I'm delighted that we're doing it now. We didn't get many submissions on this bill, but I think the, the um, quality of the su submissions from Law Society and the Law Commission um, particularly was extremely high. It was very helpful to us. We had good uh, cross-party, the three parties that are on the Government Administration Committee, good cross-party discussion and debate about it, and I think that we've uh, returned the bill in a better stage. The, um, so the committee stages of the whole House uh, I think was a valuable contribution to democracy. This will make our parliament uh, more accountable, more transparent, and that's something that the whole of our parliament should pursue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The next, I'm going to put the, ah, calling David Seymour. Uh, 